You know when you have something that you're used to and then they just throw in a whole different flavor and it rocks? That's what just happened. Hey guys, this is my review of episode 18 of Supernatural season 11. Whoa! So, the last few episodes of filler, well, some were decent. Admittedly, we had a little bit too much filler for my fit, for my taste. Completely forgiven with this episode. This, this episode had so much story into it. It was like bursting at the seams. And one of the people who kind of get a little bit pushed to the side is the main characters, the Winchester brothers. They actually really don't have a part in this episode. They are witnesses. They are basically passengers because this episode is all about Crowley, Lucifer, and the darkness. We see that the darkness is recovered from her WMD with the angels, which actually is interesting because I didn't think it had done that much of a damage on her, but actually it really did shake her up and she's being fixed by someone. Now, I won't reveal who it is till the end of the episode, but this is a character that has reappeared and now changed sides and is helping the darkness. And the darkness is basically like, you know what, let's do it, let's call him out. Meanwhile, Lucifer gets into heaven. Now, that was the only thing that really bugged me about this episode because no one brings it up that he just nonchalantly walks into heaven. Because if I'm correct, that was the whole point of him wanting to destroy the world is because he was cast out of heaven, which means that he can't get back up there. So what's the next best thing? Destroy everything that God made, which is Earth and all of its humans. So the fact that he kind of gets up there was a little bit weird. However, it was very interesting seeing him convince the angels that, yeah, God sucks. You might as well just join my team. And while you're at it, you can call me God too. That was great. Crowley, on the other hand, is... Okay, the episode starts in Saudi Arabia. I was just laughing, because th they film it out here. They film it out in British Columbia. And Saudi Arabia was just the last thing I ever thought they would ever film out here. And it's a, clearly a, a green screen, but it was still really funny. He has found the Horn of Joshua, which I believe... What I found odd was they actually normally don't mention who, what, importance, Bible reference, nothing. It's basically just a hand of God weapon which they want to use, or at least Crowley wants to use, to actually get Lucifer back in the cage. He's more focused on getting his revenge against Lucifer for making him act like a dog. And admittedly, he's a bit pissed, but the brothers even say, like, there's no point in doing this. We need to get the darkness first. We can get, we can take care of Lucifer later. We've done it before. But the darkness is what's the matters. And there's this constant sort of, it's this bickering bitch match between those two. And admittedly, they kind of don't, this argument just basically goes around in a circle because you're waiting for when the last 20 minutes. The last 20 minutes is nuts. There's so many twists that happen in this scene that I didn't expect them to happen. And the cliffhanger of the ending, holy shit. Damn. The ending's going to be amazing. So at least to say this episode was really well done. It's the most story I've seen in a Supernatural episode in a while and I was very entertained. I like that I was bursting at the scenes with stuff to see and stuff to watch and I'm really excited for next episode. And yeah, so for a little few things, for basically just not talking about what how certain things happen, certain rep items, certain references, and also this kind of this in a circle-y conversation with Crowley and the brothers. Other than that, I love this episode. And I'm going to give it a 7 out of 7. I'm rating this with the episode where we were left with that cliffhanger back in the fall of last year where we didn't know if uh, Sam was going to say yes or not to the devil. That... I rank it with that episode. It was that freaking good. This was one of the best episodes of the season. It's got the best story writing of the season, and it's built up the last few episodes of the season. There's only one issue I have, and I wonder if they've pulled all their cards, if they've played their trump cards right now, because all the while this is going on, we still have another season, apparently. So I don't know what they're going to do. I really don't know what they're going to do. Otherwise, I think this episode was really good. Oh, and then the spoiler, okay, this is the spoiler, this is the person who came back. So if you don't want to watch it, just 
go ahead and end the video now. Rowena came back. Now, admittedly, I was like, what the hell? How'd you come back? And then she had a MacGuffin spell thing in her thigh that just resuscitated her and fixed her neck, which I actually didn't mind the angle they were doing of her helping the darkness, but then that angle completely ended. So they kind of wasted that angle. But other than that, I don't care. I was happy with everyone and everything that happened in this episode, and I'm very excited for the next one. But either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. I cannot wait for next week because it's going to be intense. See you guys later.